Rylum Wolf. I don't think Rylum Wolf plays Wolf. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Wolf would be cool. Like it would it would be cool if Wolf came back, but honestly, like give me ICs and I'll be happy. Even if the changes to grab where you can't re-grab after however long it is. It'd still be insane. Like look at Rosa. Even with those limitations, Ro Rosa's Rosa's ridiculous because Luma is so strong. Yeah. But like the ICs were ridiculous not just because of like wobbling and chain grabs and stuff. Even if you take those away, the added power from Nana, like you get like 36% yeah. from one fresh forward smash with like yeah. no charge. It was insane. I guess that has value. I'd really like to see them return. Yeah, I'd like to see a lot of characters. But watching, so far, no confirmation of Smash on the Switch. So. Watching Rosa's like watching Rosa players desync just makes me miss the ICs even more. Here. So it's Rylan versus Colors. Now Colors is a very good Rosa. He's he knows his stuff. He um It'll be interesting to see how this plays out because Colors can just uh, intercept um banana toss with gravitational pull and it looks like Colors Comes is gonna down with a down air. Yeah, that's that's probably not going to be enough to bring it back just yet because Colors is um Colors is taking a lot of percent with Luma and with the up airs. I think one Luma up air up smash will take the stock at this point. Oh, for sure. Yep. E no. Oh. No. Doesn't get the it's Luma good, hit. It's good DI. Yo, okay. That was interesting, but it worked. Rylan gets a lot of these down airs. Oh, and he, he breaks out of the grab with Luma. See, Colors is like very good at dealing with situations like that with Luma. Like if he's ever in trouble, he he can just instantly use Luma to just to get himself out of any situation, and it's it's really cool to watch. No Luma now, so how does he deal with? Uh... He waits ten seconds. He waits oh, 10 he's seconds. he's already back, anyways. What if Luma could grab? Then I would not play this game at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, but that's that's what I want. <laughs> Rylum not quite able to take the stock away yet. Yeah, and, and building up rage on Rosa like isn't a very good idea. Yeah. This is the up smash on Luma. And then <laughs> and then he desyncs. He gets the desync where. Luma just uses side B like right by the ledge where Rylum is. Yeah. Looks like Colors is just playing with his food at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I think one F smash will take it. Oh, but he, he monkey flips. He, uh, he monkey kicks Luma. And that gets him off of him. Crazy color using uh, pivot grab on his oh. edge cards. But he what whiffs, happened there? Uh, I think he accidentally whipped his recovery by monkey kicking oh, instead of flipping. Oh, and you yeah. can't grab the edge while you're. And you, you can't out. you can't jump or recover again either. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. You think you know when a monkey has his foot extended out in front of him, it's just well, no, like, like another like hand. He, he does guys. he does an animation like where <laughs> his where his feet are like close together. 
and like he, like it's it's sort oh, of a yeah, helpless. Yeah, he like kind of like does this thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His free fall animation is really funny. Colors oh, just playing the box again, holding center stage. Jab, 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 side B. Rylum is not not taking this lightly. That's the thing about uh, Rosalina, I guess. You don't need to do much more than jab. So you yeah. get him up in the air. Then jab, jab your way with Jab, him. dash, attack, F tilt, and of course, up air. It sounds like all of because Rosalina's moves are good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is a top tier without an up air? Mario, <laughs> <Yeah>. Cloud, Rosa? <laughs> Sheik? I mean, up air is like one of Sheik's only kill moves. Yeah. Don't forget Bayonetta. He gets Pikachu. a Luma. Pikachu. Wait, no, that's Pikachu a is, in a, is in the top tier. Says who? <laughs> Everyone but Esam. It looks like Rylum um, almost got that up there. Rylum now. could bring this back. Yeah. He kills Luma. He has 10 seconds to uh, make the most of it. Falls into. Oh, it's good. Uh, up smash. Even without Luma, it's still busted. Well, I mean, he was he was at really he was so at a really high percent. So. Smash is busted. <laughs> Crazy colors just doing the same thing he did last game. He's building up percent pretty quickly on Rylum yeah. with those up airs. I don't think Rylum put on any percentage stock yet. Are we gonna see a zero death? Maybe. Are we gonna see a zero death? Yeah. The zero death. It's the zero okay. death. <laughs> the zero death. That was great. Good shit to Rylan coming out. Better shit to. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think anyone else noticed that that was a zero death. I'm not sure it was. Yeah, maybe it I, wasn't. I, I missed the first couple of seconds of it, but it. It looked rough. I'll say that much. All right. And now we have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out uh, in uh, five seconds. I played them earlier. Uh huh. I guess I'll use this time to uh, plug our hosts here today. We got co-opted <laughs> plays on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, well, Facebook. Gee, I'll make sure that when I get home, I follow every single one of those accounts. Oh yeah. How will I be able to keep up to date if I'm not following all of these accounts at the <laughs> same time? <laughs> you can't get enough Dude, of social media. Just only follow those four accounts and you'll have something to do for the as rest well, of your life. As well as Matchstick Melee on YouTube. They do other fighting games. But we're just here for Clash 4 today. I didn't know other fighting games existed. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> We'll have that conversation later. <laughs> we'll, I mean, we'll play ARMS at the least real it's fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got HP Van. Wasn't he uh, second place in doubles? I believe. Not sure. Yeah. Didn't spectate doubles. He's a really good Ganon. Uh, he's putting in the work. He's right actually now. like winning right now. He yeah. has a small lead and he gets the up air and he gets the KO. That's going to be very detrimental to fatigue. Is that is, is that the Mario player? 
Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, Van, Van is a Ganon, so. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be detrimental to fatigue because Ganon, like, can survive to high percents. Of course, Mario does Eight. have some jank kill options, but, like, it's... not even high for Ganon. So. Yeah, and plus, add rage to that, and, like... It's just worse and HP worse. Van is, like... I think he's gonna take this game, especially since he's he's taking fatigue to such high percent. Oh, percentage. Jab oh! Up smash oh he gets the jab lock and then the up smash. That was very clean, and it looks like he Ganon doesn't have any rage right now, so it looks like. But he can he, still hit him with his haymaker. Not quite. If that up smash landed, it would be <laughs> over. But definitely, you know. Up smash has almost no end lag. Mario so is he like can a very Mario is a very agile character, and he can he can play hit and run. Oh, and, yeah. oh he gets the back air yeah, and okay. takes the game. Yep. Oh, That's some. Um, Van taking the first game. Good shit from HP Van. They just go back. Three, two, oh boy. One, go. So let's see if Fatigue can do something different. He just needs to put more percent in his combos. Yeah, maybe honestly. you know. I I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like a footstool jab lock on Ganon this game because like Ganon's a big target and he's heavy and it would probably be easy to do that. <laughs> Fan is actually able to get his up air before Fatigue. Fatigue actually it seems like Fatigue is actually doing way better this game. Yeah. He's getting some... Oh, oh! Forward air! Forward aerial. Flank he gets the first air. spike. There's a little bit of stream lag, so I had to look at the projector. <laughs> Everyone's popping off while we're watching three seconds later. <laughs> That's okay, though. Feels bad, man. There's those, oh, he's getting some. There's those combos. Oh, he's, he's getting. Needs. He's getting these combos. Yeah. It's too much. Oh, almost ran into an up smash. Oh! oh! Off the stage. That's a two stock, ladies and gentlemen. Sakurai, please. No. Nerf, nerf Mario. No, Sakurai, please don't. Make make a balance patch. Make Ganon just better. Just to nerf Mario. Make yeah, make Ganon great again. Make, make Ganon at least mid tier again. Make Ganon great. Make Jigglypuff great. This whole. <laughs> Serious and Samus is still great. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> make Bayonetta great again. I'm just uh, kidding. Don't. No. <laughs> Break Bayonetta again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, going to a battlefield this time. I think Van really likes the tri platform. This is intense. You know, game one and game two just went by so quick, and now we're already at game three, and, you know, like, both of them bodied each other, basically, in their respective their respective wins, yeah. so, like, this will be interesting. And he gets the flame choke, but No he... one is teching these flame chokes. Yeah. You can do it. It's a small window, but you can do it. Yeah. Did you know no, you can also... There's the tech. Did you know you can also tech Flare Blitz if you, like, once you hit the ground? No. It's like really hard. It's a really small window. Huh. I've ne honestly never played a Charizard to find out. Yeah. HP Van is up with only 59%. Van, Van is, is in the lead dangerous. right now. This is very dangerous. This is dangerous, team. but like it's always possible to make it back because Mario Jank. If he and gets he like, if he doesn't gets get the F kill, smash. Then... It's over. Ooh, oh, it doesn't, doesn't get the back air. Yeah. Van is completely content holding center stage. He doesn't need to do all this extra work. Up smash just barely misses. Oh, yeah, he, he misses the flame choke. All he needs is a jank Ganon side and... Oh, wait, oh, wait. Van is in the lead, never mind. Yeah, yeah oh, smash, he gets up smash, but it doesn't. Oh, 
it tries to get the Ganon side. Oh, it tries back. to get another spike, yeah. but it's not gonna happen this time. Fatigue is looking uh, fatigued. <laughs> I knew Sorry. you were going to Sorry. say that. Sorry. I knew you were going to say <laughs> that. <laughs> get those low-hanging fruit, people. Like, like you said, fatigue is looking, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Two stock for Van. I was good. Good shit. Very uh, masculine clap there, Sleepy. <laughs> it's how Mario's clapping. Oh, yeah. The sound is showing up and it, it's like in sync <laughs> with Mario's clapping. <laughs> uh, we're moving right along to our next set here. Survival. Looks like this time it will be Paul. Do you know Paul? Yeah, he's, he's a fraud. I'm gonna expose him one day. Well, he's playing Lucina, so I yeah, believe you. He's a fraud. <laughs> I watched Snake or Snake play earlier. He's a really good Yoshi. So this should be a fun set. I Yoshi. beat Man today and he he wants the money match me now. <laughs> Yoshi has a really time really hard time dealing with swords, so yeah, he's gonna he, end up throwing eggs. If Yoshi gets out yeah. space like when I was playing Go Man earlier, I was just like keeping my distance and like throwing out those PK fires. And I remember one of my other sets at Korumbasu one time, like, like just spacing is everything against Yoshi. But it looks like Snake is going to start off strong with 75% on Paul. Yeah, that's a pretty good lead, I'd say. Paul's going to get the side B on him, but it won't really do much. Oh! Border. That was dirty. He just runs out there and does it, you know? Down air, oh. rarely... One of the rare times down air is safe. Oh, oh gets it with the down Yo! Throw. Way to go, Paul. That is My not boy, Paul! That is not fraudulent play. That isn't fraudulent. It's dirty, <laughs> and it's it's dishonest, but it's not fraudulent. <laughs> it's not dishonest. <laughs> that is abusing uh, Yoshi's weakness, which I can respect. <laughs> Now, it doesn't look like Paul will be able to make it back this game. But it, you never know. He does have some decent rage, so... It's he possible, could, yeah. It is possible. Never count him out. He techs away, and then Ooh, he, the runs forward forward air, he, he runs forward. He runs forward. Oh, he... Oh, up the up air will kill him. Yeah. <laughs> and he teabags the disrespect. Very proud stance from Yoshi. I think he's looking the wrong way. All right, we can't have that sound going while there's no camera on us. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you all to understand. We are again mimicking claps. <laughs> Let's see if Paul can do something different this time. Three, Going to battlefield. Two, one, go! This is actually a really good stage for Yoshi. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I switched to Falco earlier and still got bodied. And Ooh, forward so air jab. Yoshi definitely puts on a lot of percent. Stage. Wow, I'm inspired. Paul is getting some decent percent off of Snake, but it and he texts away and barely misses the nair. Ooh. The super, super armor, right yeah, super it, armor, yeah. double jump. Paul's about ready to die. Oh, He's got a couple more. Stale up smash. Yeah, yeah he. Not close uh, enough. Paul's gonna have to work really hard to to bring this back. Snake 
just putting oh. on more percent as he's got a Go pretty man's much a back. whole stock lead. I don't think Go 50%. Man. Too risky. Do you want a buddy match? What? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing a seventy-five dollar money match. Oh, Yoshi almost gets gimped again. Oh, uh, I. Okay, sorry. I thought that was a, a fifty, but okay. Looks like they're fighting for center stage. Paul takes it not very convincingly. Yoshi's got a really good dash tagging. Go through shield. Travel pretty long distance. Sorry about that. <laughs> go we man. Got, we got money matches off stream. <laughs> go man. <laughs> what, go man wants to money match me because I beat him in bracket. Oh, reads the tech in, but doesn't do anything with it. Oh, oh, Inglis. Yep. Disrespectful. Oh, 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 oh save oh. him. Paul is able to make it back. The disrespect. Just let him be, Snake. Just let him be. Make oh, him win, Snake. Ha <laughs> That's boy. what you get. This is why you don't disrespect my boy. What time? What time, like last year, I was playing the set at a tournament, and after after my opponent, like, killed me and took the set, like, he just... He used Dare because he was Bayonetta, and he just died right before I did. Snake's about to take this anyway with the long... The Nair is too good, folks. Oh, Paul makes it back. Hit him with another Nair. Oh. Ooh. Yoshi's off stage. This could be risky. Expose him! Oh. Nair comes out so fast. All air dodges. I'm gonna laugh if he counters. Oh. Yep. oh, that's Nair. That's Nair for yeah. you. Comes out really quickly. Lasts a long time. Yeah, I'll body match you, but not for like hills. sixty dollars. How much then? One. Alright, you put one dollar down. I'll put five dollars down. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Right well, yeah, let's fair, go right, right now. All right, I'll get a money match. Go, man. Good luck to Sleepy and his money match. I'm gonna hang out with you guys still. <laughs> All right, we got some loot attire on the stream. We might need to censor that. Tildy? Looks like there's a couple Tildy fans in the uh in the audience. For it. For it. Ooh. Okay. All right, jumping into Pool 7 winners, we got Red Fox versus Tildy. He was saying something earlier about the, uh, the uh, headphone sound being a little delayed or off or something. So okay. So we're just wearing it around the necks earlier. I don't uh, know. Oh, okay. I'll do that then, as long as they can hear me. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. All right. So we got Red Fox from West Virginia. Tildy, I'm guessing, is Ohio. Yeah. Uh, Red Fox, number one PR, West Virginia. 
Uh, very patient Sonic. Very um, wrath-inspired gameplay. <laughs> Uh, but this is definitely not one of the worst matchups to take against Sonic. Corn is a character that can handle spin dash pretty well using pin and uh, and Dragon Fang shot. So it's not exactly even, but I mean it's still on first stop. Tildy still has plenty of time to bring it back against Red Fox. He's been really aggro. Yeah, this is actually the most aggro that I've ever seen Red Fox. He's probably feeling it because it's on the stream. Corrin's a character that really doesn't have a lot of good ground buttons on the ground besides that pin. You know, the pin's ridiculous. It's like, what, frame four or something like that? Yeah, but she makes up for it by having a ridiculous juggle game. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, right there. And that's a big weakness of Sonic is he's not, honestly, able to get down from a lot of things if um, you're reading his options. Pretty much everything Sonic does is going to be a 50-50. He's going to do this and he's going to do that. So you have to guess right about which option he's going to pick. Yeah. In most cases, Sonic's are going to try and go for that uh, auto-cancel dare out of spring just to like get back onto the ground faster after a, after a spin dash. Um, but Corrin definitely having the range to, uh, to contest with that. Oh, that oh. down smash. Was that a two frame? I believe so. Hmm. That is a hard recovery to two frame, too, because those wings, they're intangible, so they stick out. Yeah. Usually you have to go below Corrin to hit her out of her own. But uh, Red Fox just had the timing down really well. Something that Tildy is doing that's probably giving him a lot of trouble is he's jumping a little bit too much. Yeah, you basically want to stay grounded against Sonic. Stay in shield a lot and force him to use his spin dash because, like we said earlier, everything he does is going to end up being a 50 50. Yeah. It's essentially just kind of like playing a little mini game inside of Smash. Hmm. Tilda's got a grasp of his spacing down, though. I've seen a couple of attacks that were like pretty much at, at the edge of that. That wasn't the greatest because Red Fox was able to power shield it, but uh, he's had lots of opportunities to like. Be on the edge of Red Fox's counterattack range. The Red, Red Fox just used the platform there just a couple of seconds ago to help his landing option. All right, and now we're starting to get into vintage Red Fox. <laughs> Not sure he he may have put in like oh, oh that was a really was a good. Yeah, down by fifty percent. Uh, it's a lead, but. Corn's one of those characters that can make it up pretty fast. Get like one juggling, and that's pretty much the entirety of the of the percent loss. Yeah, he's just kind of going through his regular red fox pattern, just. Of, I mean, it's a Sonic pattern, a lot of spin dash, and a lot yeah. of mix-ups outside of spin dash. Spin now, dash back and forth. One thing I do see Red Fox use a lot more than other Sonics that I noticed is he uses F tilt a lot. And this is, it's a super good, like, poking tool. Yeah. The main thing that I like uh, him uh, using F tilt for is, like, he'll cross up shield and then use F tilt, expecting you to, like, drop out of shield and uh, try and use an offensive option. And it's really good for, like, putting the other character in a bad situation. So we're almost at the minute mark right now. Oh man, that is taking much longer than I expected, but I, I guess it's to be expected. Got a slow character like Corrin. Yeah. Very hard to catch a character like Sonic. And Red Fox really has no reason to approach. I mean, he's up by 60, about 50%. Oh, that was a great grab. But now we're getting into that danger zone. Back throw, not going to kill. No. no. But he's gonna spring him. Corrin's decently heavy. And Corrin, with that really decent recovery, goes straight through the spring. Doesn't even care about it. All right, 30 seconds. Are we gonna get the timeout? That was a that was a good smash. Right. That's that something that great. that's something that Red Fox does way more than other Sonics. Is he'll go uh, towards the ledge if you're trying to like land or if you're doing neutral get up, and he's gonna up smash it because the hitbox lasts for so long. Remember when that had more kill power? 
That was dumb. I'm glad that it doesn't <laughs> because Sonic would be straight busted. Remember when his back throw was almost as strong as Nessie? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so game two on Battlefield. I agree with this counter pick. Um, it's going to be bigger, so Sonic has more room to run around. But Corrin's going to gain so much off the juggle game that it's probably not going to matter too much. I'm surprised um, Red Fox let him go here because just knowing uh, like Red Fox personally, he does not like this stage at all. See, he doesn't like it, but Sonic also gets the added benefit of uh, spin dash camping under Battlefield's platforms. And against a character with really poor approach options like Corrin, it probably works for him. And then he can also get like crazy stuff like a spring right off the top platform. I can kill someone with zero. Yeah. Which I've, I've definitely had that happen for me for Red Fox. He knows how to do it. Oh, that was really good. Sonic's forward smash being the a ridiculously sized forward smash. Also, another thing that I don't know if uh, the viewers can see, but Red Fox is playing with a Wii Mote nunchuck. Oh yeah, he's a he's a Wii Chuck warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and this game slowly getting out of Tildy's hands. Didn't die off the up smash, but he's going to have to do something to stop uh, Red Fox spin dashing from one side of the stage to the other, because right now he doesn't have the answer. Yeah, and I can't really blame him if Tildy's feeling a little frustrated or tilted right now, because this is definitely probably a lot of people's least favorite positions to be in in this game. Oh yeah, down by pretty much 100% against the Sonic that is definitely a more passive player. That's a really frustrating deficit to try and bring back. Now, Corrin does have some pretty good ledge traps at the edge, especially with neutral B, and that move, especially with all this rage, can turn really, really decently early. So, uh, if somebody's able to like pressure Red Fox and pretty much make him fall for the neutral B kill, we could see him turn the game around. Yeah. He's starting. It looks like he's getting a hold of uh, Red Fox's jug. Or sorry, landing options. Oh, but, but that back air. Alright, so Tildy having a large, large deficit that he's going to have to make up in this game. Oh, But that might not quite... The back air was a good idea, but didn't wait long enough. And that's what he should be doing a little bit more, is using... Uh, Corn's pin to contest with his uh, contest with Sonic spin dash and shield game the, in, uh, the entire time because if you use it right, Sonic really can't punish you out of it. I don't know if you noticed that earlier, but that was a super smooth recovery out of Red Fox because he like sprung up um, and missed ledge, but like landed and pivoted out of the spring. I've never seen anything like that before. Nice. Alright, getting around that percent where a, a good forward smash from Corrin should be able to take Red Fox's stock, but... You know, for, for how soft that move, the sound that move makes... It's such a strong move. I know! <laughs> Corrin, oh. Corrin's up here is one of the most busted ones in the game. Um, good idea, but doesn't angle it downward, so wasn't going to get the two frame anyway. Red Fox goes for that up smash again. All right, now he's in a bad position. And as as passive of a player Red Fox is, it looks like he's really trying to end this uh, end this match. Uh, but Tildy, taking advantage of that uh, over eagerness by Red Fox, um, uses the uses the pin on Red Fox's up smash. And that could be a good reason why, like we just saw, that pin can kill dangerously early. Especially if he gets a snipe off stage with it. Yeah. Alright, Red Fox gonna go for the two frame. Doesn't get it off the down tilt. Now, does the down tilt go down farther than the forward smash? I've honestly never ever seen a uh, Sonic trying two frame with down tilt. I've only seen F smash. Hmm. Maybe he wanted to use a, a, a less committal option to try and uh, two frame it. That back air, oh, that yeah, battle. that's it. The JV2 coming from Red Fox. And Red Fox should be sitting in winner's finals of his pool right now. Uh, West Virginia boys. <laughs> West Virginia boys on the mat. Um, oh, wow. 
seriously? Oh man. That sucks for the buzz. Yeah. <laughs> Hats on crooked. All right. Okay. Now I don't know who FS has to play in his winners finals match. I know that um, both Mikalik, a Mega Man, and um, dang somebody else, somebody else is pretty decent. Uh, is in his pool. All right, so they're, so they're trying to get uh, as many of the winners' finals matches from pools on stream, um, and it looks like there's now a backlog. So, what's up? Oh no, he. Oh, it's, it's uh, just for where you told me earlier what, when we had it. Is oh, it, he okay. fixed it. Oh, headphones. All right. All right. Next up, we have Snake and Wood. He has a little delay still. You know, Wood just wanted to get on stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like one of those uh, those bro dude type of guys. <laughs> I don't really. I don't know nothing about Ohio players, to be honest. Neither do I. Yeah. It sounds like there's just a little bit of delay on it. It's kind of messing with me. We'll probably get used to it. Yeah. This is a cute little layout. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, uh, guys, just a quick shout out to uh, Co-opted. They're the ones who's streaming this for us. And uh, our matches today are going to be put on uh, the Matchstick Melee channel on YouTube right there. Um, Co-opted, they do, I believe that they do Let's Plays. They do Let's Plays of video games on YouTube. Yeah. Amazing quality. What? And they've got amazing quality on their on their stream, so some good some good high definition matches coming to you. Alright. Looks like Wood and Snake are already getting into it. Um now Yoshi Wario is a matchup that I've actually played a lot, and I feel like it's really heavily in Yoshi's favor. Oh good call out on the bike right there. Yeah. Uh Snake is another West Virginia invader. He's ranked second. Yeah, he's ranked number two on the last PR. Um, under Red Fox. Uh, super solid Yoshi player, but very, very unorthodox. You're not going to see a whole lot of crazy B reverse, like, uh, egg leg movement stuff on him, but he's going to condition you like crazy. Wood, however, one of the hypest Wario players that I've ever watched, and also has that Game of Watch in the pocket just in case the Wario's not working for him. So far, Snake is kind of kind of putting the hands on Wood. <laughs> In Awaria, it's a he's a character that's known for his like super good aerial mobility, but Yoshi is probably one of the few characters in the game that you know outdoes that just outright. That's the thing, like Yoshi's aerials are so good that you can really just jump up with any kind of aerial and stuff Wario's uh aerial movement because that's the only way he can really get in like all this ground game is kind of stunted he doesn't really have a, like a lot of good pokes like safe pokes he's mainly just this one like oh i've never seen that before good bite that's actually the first bite that i've seen from wood so far uh, now one thing that snake's going to be careful of is that wheelie that wheelie can kill super early percents yeah the wheelie and we have full waft on deck so Oh, just goes a, and uses it. That was a bit too early. That was a great shield by Snake, though. He just called that out. Yeah. But, I mean, you're you're down, like, a whole lot. Personally, I would try and rack up the damage a little bit more and then, like, use the waft on the second stock. Just have it as a trump card. Because when a, when a player is playing scared of the waft, you're going to get a lot more. We're doing a good job of keeping it close, though. No, it's it's a big hit. Yeah. All right. So it's been about 15, 20 seconds. So not yet to walk territory. Um, and Snake now has now is a clean stock to go ahead and play against Wood. Just 
a lot of neutral game right now. A lot of grounded pokes, a lot of aerial pokes. And Snape doesn't even really have to do anything fancy because, like, you, he can literally just go in with a lot of aerials and Wario just gets stuffed out by it all. It's right, a neat little Nair to back air conversion. I wonder if Wario can eat the eggs. Oh man, Snake read the roll, uh, tries to go for a soft punish off the jab, but doesn't quite get it. Wood with the down air. He's gonna do forward air, uh, forward, uh, forward throw. And now we're getting to danger territory, because that waft, it's either at half waft or it's about to get to full waft. Oh, oh man. Is he gonna hit? Oh, oh. he still had it to jump. That was good. But now he's wasted the waft. Yeah, which is where Yoshi wants to be. He's got to watch out for that back here. I'm pretty sure it'll kill right now. Oh, he missed the bike on the ledge. Ooh. Oh, oh, Nair to up air. No, I think that's no, fair. that's four. Yeah, yeah, fair to yeah. up air. That's clean. I never seen that before. Yeah. Solid comeback by Wood after Snake was really, really running away with that first stock. I wonder if um, Wood was just using those, that first stock really does kind of get info on Snake. He might have been. Because, like, any Wario that I've seen, I've, I've never seen him go for Wasp so early. So maybe he was just testing it out, knowing that he had a game to play with. Now it looks almost like Snake is getting a little bit too attack heavy. Yeah. Instead of waiting for Wario to make a mistake in his approach. I mean... It gets frustrating, man. You're up a game so much, and they come back. Yeah. Oh, trying to go for a shield break. Yeah. And Wood has definitely turned this set around. And there's that bite at the edge. Catches neutral get up. Pretty sure it catches jump as well. Oh, he's eating the tires. Hey, get that health. Good idea to go for the down smash there. Doesn't do it quick enough, though. All right, Nair's out. And Wood had that, uh, had that fair off the ledge sniffed out. All right. Snake dealing with a heavy deficit. I expect him to go for a few more a few more eggs. He Almost dies off of that. He looks a little lost. Yeah. Oh, the oh. shield break. Can he kill? I no. No, is a heavy boy. Super heavy. But that's good, good damage. And that's a good, like, confidence breaker, too. Yeah. Now he knows that he can't just, like, shield like that the entire time. It'll open up a couple things for Snake. Calls out the bike. Oh. oh! Fair to up air. True at all these ridiculous kill percents. <laughs> you know, this is just kind of a problem with Wario, man. Like, he has that nuke, like, in his butt pocket. But just a lot of his neutral game and a lot of his just moves, you, there's not a lot of setup into them. Yeah. Wood did do a good setup right there, though. Threw the bike up to force the air dodge from Snake and then used the back air. And uh, Snake definitely got caught with uh, some bad DI on it. Might have killed anyway, but still killed early. Oh, no, my No, no, too early. That was a good setup, but way too early. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just played ping pong with that dinosaur. All right, now he's off stage. Oh, oh he went for it. I wonder if the bike explosion would save him. Right, save Waited for the air one. dodge. Oh. He up be straight out of it. Snake's probably not going to be able to go for that cheesy setup anymore. Snake right. at kill percent. Now Wario's forward throw and later later percentages becomes somewhat of a kill throw if he gets it at the edge. Oh, is that it? Not Almost. quite. Barely. Snake's going to have one more chance. But a lot of things are going to kill from Wario now. 
Oh, that was jab to forward smash. Oh, going out deep. Yeah. Oh, he's getting there happy. Yeah. Oh. Not dead just yet. Wood does a lot of nice stuff with the bike to uh, try and frame trap and get the kill. Dash attack. Oh, oh that waft. That waft was sick. He got that on like the frame Yoshi got out of shield too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wood making out winners finals uh, of his pool. So Snake will be out on loser side, getting the second seed. And next up we have Crazy Colors and Crazy Colors and Aura, maybe. That's Size Strike, I think. At least that's what he Size Strike. Okay. At least that's what his tag was when we played him in doubles. Okay, so this is this is Sombra's pool. Sombra got uh, upset by I think it was Aura. So side strike. I don't know. I don't know how. How did it go? See. Sombra got upset by Aura. Okay, so his tag is Aura. Okay. So side strike is just an in-game thing. Yeah, Aura. Uh, very clean Mewtwo. Played him in doubles today. Um, just does the Mewtwo stuff, you know, down tilt, fair, shadow ball, air dodge. Against Sombra, he went Lucario, so he probably uh, dual mains Mewtwo and Lucario. I would expect him to use Mewtwo against Rosa. Oh, yeah. Mewtwo's one of the best characters against get, uh, getting rid of Luma. Just one fair uh, dash attack. Most of Mewtwo's kit is not, it's designed to get Luma off of the stage. And yeah. The, Rosa being so light and Mewtwo being so fast. He can honestly just kind of go ham on Rosa, as if, if it gets the little star bit out of there. Yep, here comes the Mewtwo. However, we all know how light Mewtwo is. We do, we do. <laughs> oh, they're button checking on him. <laughs> I was about to say, Umbra is definitely not legal. Yeah. Sombra did make it out of his pool, though. So he made it out loser side. Third seed, yeah. Yeah. I have not. Oh. Did it fall or something? Oh, here it is. Alright. Alright, looks like the button check is over. <laughs> He's warming up his hands for Rose's jab. Oh, nice. This stage is so cool. But it's like, cool. It's too bad that it is awful. <laughs> we need more stages. Like there are lots of aesthetically <laughs> like cool looking stages, but they do not work for tournament play. We need new stages. Yeah. Or just bring back Yoshi's Island Brawl. All right, starting off on Lilat. Um, pretty neutral for both of them. Both of them get uh, a pretty decent amount from Lilat's low platforms and tilts. Alright, and we have Aura already using that uh, short hop air dodge that's so good with Mewtwo to like force his way into Crazy Colors and Crazy just finally got out from his disadvantage state. You have down tilt into up air. If you uh, buffer the double jump, you can actually get down tilt into up air into forward air, which potentially could kill Rosa off the side. Oh, he reads the roll. Doesn't space it correctly. That's a very dangerous place to be versus Rosa. Is above them. Yeah. Crazy colors just racked up about thirty percent just off of uh, Aura being a little bit, uh, a little bit above him. No, Rosa, a character that's not like technically fast, but she has a lot of really great burst options with her range, especially that dash attack, which can just seems like it catches almost anything. Yeah. Really nice B-reverse movement. Almost gets hit with the up smash, though. Oh, 
And that's somewhere where Mewtwo also doesn't want to be on the ledge. Mewtwo has like he has like okay mix up options, but none of his options off of the ledge are that good. Like his neutral getup is extremely slow. One of the things that uh, Mewtwo can do to mix up is if he double jump cancels his disable or shadow ball, and you can actually buffer the shield, so he'll basically go directly into a double jump cancel into a shield. It's a cool mix up, but if you know if you do that every time, you're gonna get grabbed. Yeah. Or making quick work of Luma right there with those forward airs. Alright. Now Mewtwo's down smash. It's a lot like Meta Knight's F smash where uh, the startup is really slow, but the end lag on it is basically nothing. So you, Mewtwo's can use it as like a bait. Yeah. Alright, that up smash taking away Rosa's stock at about 120. Uh, still a pretty close game. It's almost obligatory for every Rosa that I've seen to go for the up air and then wait for the air dodge. I feel like a lot of people use uh, use the panic air dodge option against Rosa. That's that down air. I think that was Luma's. That's the one that sends off the side, right? Yeah. yeah. Man, that was that was early. That was super early. <laughs> Crazy caller's just looking stone faced. <laughs> but, I mean, that wasn't. That definitely wasn't out of reach for Aura. Oh, he no. Had, he had a good string at the start. Alright, now Battlefield. This is something I agree with. Like, it gives Rosa advantage, but Mewtwo has a lot of teleport mix-ups yeah. on this stage. Aura starting to play it safe, just sitting back with down tilts. Tried to go for a fair there, but he fast fell too fast. Man, Colors just does an amazing job of extending his advantage state for so long. He forces air dodges and just like platform camps like as much as possible with Rosa's ridiculous aerials. Looks like Aura's a little flustered right now. Yeah. Something not too uncommon when you're playing against a character like Rosalina who's a defensive wall. Oh, sneaks into the jabs but gets the grab. Yeah. Alright, rough spot for uh for Aura. Not sure exactly how he's gonna get back down to the ground. Ooh, oh, didn't quite get it. He's trying. It yeah, it's, <laughs> like, it's like Rosa can just sit there with the low commitment jab from Luma at the edge, and if you try and double jump away, she just goes up to the top platform of Battlefield and hits you on that. It's like pick your poison. She like People give her a lot of crap, but she honestly is a really technical, interesting character. But yeah. she can also kill you at like 20, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's a star for Aura. He killed Luma, so now he just has to catch Crazy Colors and rack some damage on. Alright, nice short hop fair. Oh! Oh, I would have liked to nair from there. Now that is something about Rosa, is she does not have a good recovery. It's long, but she's completely vulnerable, and most of the time her head's gonna pop up above, so you can honestly stuff it out a lot of the time. Yeah. Just a simple up throw up air. I don't catches the landing with dash attack it's just like it's just this box that Rosa Luma has that like you can't penetrate it oh pretty good shadow ball there <laughs> all right calls out the dare all right it's a super saiyan percent he can bring this back yeah Goes for the cancel, but Crazy Colors uh, scouts it out really, really quickly. Yeah, oh. that's it. No, oh, he's not dead. Wow, that is... Mewtwo just gained some weight. Great DI. <laughs> I guess it just had to be no rage from Rosa. Yeah. Because it like went straight from Rosa to Luma like an, at a really weird angle. Aura definitely living on borrowed time right now, though. One good move from Rosa, and it should kill. Did you see that? That was weird to, like... Luma went into tumble, but like, I don't even know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> but like, Luma went into tumble, and then 
went straight back up, went straight to Rosa, even though we got hit with the dash attack. Huh. Well, Crazy Coast takes his pool 2-0. Uh, we got Aura making it out on the... Uh, Oh, looks like I'm up. All right. You going Ganon? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So what's your name? Uh, Debrew. Huh? Debrew. Debrew? Yeah. Alright, nice to meet you. Macho Cheese. Nice. <laughs> One of the guys that came down here from West Virginia. Uh, yeah. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have Van versus Karenold. So All it's right. going to be Ganon versus Rosa. Now, uh, Van, he's also from West Virginia. He's ranked third in the state. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Karenold from, uh... Here in Columbus. Yeah. I think he's like Carol's eighth, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eighth and yeah. Uh <laughs> Deep Deep Row, right? Uh Deep Brew. D B R U E. Debrew, D B R U E. I guess they need to charge the game. Um, yeah. Oh, All right. okay. Yeah, he wants to use headphones. I'm guessing noise canceling, whatever. A lot of some people they'll get uh, tilted if they hear stuff like the crowd. And yeah. A lot of players uh, they also go off auto auditory cues, so that could be a reason also. Uh, All right, so Ganon's probably wanna, gonna want to go to Battlefield. That's definitely Ganon's best stage, easy. The, the main issue is it's a really good stage See, for Rosa too. Yeah, I was gonna say that's one of one of Rosa's best too. But this is not a fun matchup for Ganon, anyways. So, but Van seems to make it work, and it looks like they're going to Lilat. All right, all right. Strange start, but. Three. All right, so this is the last uh, set of pools that's going to be streamed, and after this, the top 24 is going to start. All right, so this is probably how a lot of this matchup is going to go. Just a lot of boxing out from Rosa. Yeah. yeah you can see a lot of, yeah, Rosa using Luma to keep Ganon away. And a lot of up airs. Hey, that jab just seems like it's stuffing almost everyone again as options out. Oh, ends up with the side B. Alright, so we got an edge guard situation, but it looks like Karanol just lets Van come back. Alright. Hit them with the big punch. Alright, Luma gone, but. Karenal off to a nice lead. All right, tries to go for the tournament winner into the side B. Oh, good mash. And that's... Yeah, that's up here. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, able to jab Luma off the stage, and now this is where uh, Van needs to try his best to go in. Max Luma calls out Devin's and pushes the grab. All right, tries to get his landing with the dash attack, but Van's able to roll back. All right, all right. This is where he gets something started. Oh, there oh. he goes! <laughs> You know, Ganon, probably the strongest hitter in the game, like, yeah. easily. And Rosa being so light, I believe she's the fourth lightest out of all the characters. It's not going to take much uh, touch from Ganon to actually kill her, but the problem is just, is like... How, <laughs> how is he going to get in there? Especially with Luma still in play. Ooh, great fast fall in there. All right, Ganon footballs him out of the way. All right, probably going to back throw. Yep. All right. It's just going to keep repeating this process over and yeah. over. Oh, uh, wow. Luma with the save. Looked like it hit him with up tilt, and up tilt, yeah. super strong. You think Karen was having fun? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Uh, oh, Luma. yeah, another Luma. If he wants to go for these flame chokes, he's got to get Luma out of the picture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Luma, that perfect meat shield, takes the hit for Rosa. Just pretty, pretty much just allows her to plow through anything. And it looks like Crazy Collar is just, just running around running for off. some reason. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, definitely. If Van wants to uh, take this next game, he's definitely going to have to uh, find a way to get rid of Luma a lot more and just capitalize on Devin. Okay. <laughs> I'm Devin's coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely needs to... Uh, find a way to get rid of Luma. I mean, it, it didn't, like, it looked bad, but it was way closer than it probably looked. Yeah. Just, just a couple of hits. It's just... He only, yeah, Ganon only needs a couple of hits, but it's really hard to get those when Luma's in play. All right, goes for a Tomahawk. Hits Luma, but... Loro's is able to punish. Oh. There we go. Good adaption for Van. Okay, Luma's gone. Let's see what he can do with this. Oh, no. that was super close. No. And nope. No Still rage living. on Rosa. No percent on Rosa. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. Read the jump. Oh, there we go. Oh, Luma. Luma again. I don't think he, he just can't do that when Luma's still in play. All right, able to get uh, Luma off. Maybe he can do something. 
Flumagon. Ooh, tries to look for the dare. Alright, get slow up. Oh. Oh, uh, Lilat saving Luma with the tills. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, this looks rough. Ah, oh, that's gonna be it. He's just a big old man. Leave him alone. <laughs> what can you do? Um, so, top 24. Top 24 is starting right now. They'll probably want to get someone different, so I think I'm going to hop on. All right. Well, nice meeting you, too.